What's going on guys, ChillSFM here, and today I have a bit of a different video for you. In today's video, I'm going to be highlighting some of my biggest mistakes. Today's team features a Shadow Gardevoir lead with Snorlax and Swampert in the back. If you want to see how to win with this team, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be posting that video next. In this first matchup, I met with a Dragonite lead. This is perfect for Shadow Gardevoir. Dragonite is weak to fairy type attacks, so Charm absolutely shreds him. They switched to Togekiss, and I let Gardevoir do a little bit of chip damage before switching into my own Snorlax. Since I lowered their health, Snorlax should be able to clean this up, and I should be able to maintain switch advantage. However, here's where my first mistake comes. I don't shield their attack, and of course, it's a flamethrower. It does a lot of damage to Snorlax. At this point, all my opponent has to do is shield once, and they're going to win switch advantage. This is a big problem. I needed their Dragonite aligned with Shadow Gardevoir. Swampert is going to struggle a lot against Dragonite. I bring Gardevoir back in to finish off their Togekiss, but things get worse. My opponent brings out a Metagross. If I could have aligned this with Swampert and had Gardevoir lined up with Dragonite, this would have been such an easy win. Lesson learned, if you're put in that situation, just use your shield, don't try to save it. With this team and with most teams in Master Premier League, having switch advantage is far more important than having shield advantage. I do continue to play it out. I'm hoping Dragonite will shield one of these Hydro Cannons thinking it's a Sludge Wave. If I can get the shield, maybe Gardevoir can come in and farm down Dragonite and have a Shadow Ball ready to throw at Metagross. I know this is a pretty big stretch, but I've seen stranger things happen, so I go for it. Unfortunately, my opponent does not give me this opportunity. They never give me their shield, and even then, whenever I do bring in Gardevoir, I'm not able to get to my Shadow Ball. So that's a GG's. Based on team comp, I should have won this match, but I held onto my shield. Um, a big mistake, and I'm definitely going to be learning from it. Moving into my second match, I'm up against Guppy Milo. They bring a Togekiss lead. This is a challenging lead that I am still learning how to play. Because Togekiss has significantly more HP, they would be able to just farm me down if I stayed in with Gardevoir. Instead, I think the best plan is to farm them down a little bit and then safe swap into Snorlax. My opponent brings in a Waterfall Gyarados. I know one Body Slam followed by an Outrage will just about take him out. The first Body Slam goes through, and I'm almost at Outrage when he throws. I'm expecting either an Aqua Tail or Crunch, but he throws his own Outrage. I'm thinking this is still okay, I get to my own Outrage, and as long as he doesn't shield this, he should be very low. It lands and we both faint simultaneously. My opponent doesn't wait for the switch clock to run down, and he brings in Metagross. This is a huge opportunity for me. I'm able to align my Swampert with the Metagross, which is great. They bring in Togekiss, and I go ahead and throw a Hydro Cannon. Remember, Gardevoir can't take out Togekiss by herself. Togekiss throws an attack, I know it's Ancient Power and it won't take me out, so I don't shield. Togekiss goes down and Gardevoir has just a little bit of health, so my opponent's only able to farm one bullet punch. Normally Swampert would win against Metagross when both have two shields. However, remember I already threw one Hydro Cannon at the Togekiss and I didn't farm back up afterwards. Spoiler alert, this is going to come to bite me in the butt. Bullet Punch is resisted, so I don't really have to worry about fast move pressure. It's these Meteor Mashes I have to worry about. Even though it's resisted, it does a lot of damage. He's able to get off both of my shields, but I have two Hydro Cannons ready to throw at them. This will be getting off both of their shields. Now the race is on, can I get to an additional Hydro Cannon before they're able to get to a Meteor Mash? It looks like I'm at two, so I go ahead and throw. However, I was one mud shot short, and here comes the Meteor Mash, it's going to be taking out my Swampert. If I would have just stayed in for a little bit longer and farmed up a little bit on that Togekiss, I would have been a-okay, um, but I went ahead and switched to my Gardevoir too early, and that cost me the game. In my final battle of the day, I'm up against an Excadrill lead. This is a tricky lead for this team, but I switched to Snorlax. My opponent brings in their own Snorlax. Snorlax versus Snorlax is never very fun to watch, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. On my normal team, I have Superpower on Snorlax. Since this is a new team with a new move set, I get a little bit uncomfortable and I make a big mistake here in a second. I still have both of my shields and I know it's very important that I line my Swampert up with their Excadrill. But because this is new, I switch into my Swampert. I don't know what I was thinking. They throw Body Slam at my Swampert and then they bring in a Togekiss. This is horrible. I don't have Sludge Wave on my Swampert. All I can do is spam these Hydro Cannons and hope to get out of this somehow. They shield the first one, I throw the second one, but unfortunately I don't get the shield on this second one. They farm my Swampert down, 
and I bring back in Gardevoir to finish off their Togekiss. At this point, I might as well use my shields. I don't know if this is Ancient Power or Flamethrower, it's just Ancient Power. Whatever, I'm going to farm them down at this point. They go down, and Snorlax comes back in. I'm afraid of the lick damage, so I switch instantly to my own Snorlax. I don't shield, and it's just a body slam, so that's okay. I throw my own body slam at them. I'm actually hoping to get a shield at this point. Unfortunately, I don't get it, and that's going to be game. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see how to win with this team. That video will be coming out soon. This is ChillSFM wishing you good luck in your battles.